911 call that led city inspectors to this condo building, 165 Henry Street on the Lower East Side, and their disturbing, even shocking discovery. The building's department says the owner of apartment 601 created a new floor between the fourth and fifth floors to rent out nine micro apartments, tiny spaces with ceilings in two apartments between 4.5 and 6 feet. You see an inspector on his knees, almost touching the ceiling. Tenants in these windowless, tiny, cramped, illegal apartments were being charged up to $600 a month. I'm concerned for the safety of tenants. I am concerned for uh, immigrant populations that may be getting taken advantage of by landlords who are just being greedy. And uh, part of me thinks, is this John Malkovich? Is this being John Malkovich? Uh, in, back in the 90s, there was this idea of having a four and a half foot floor, uh, but that was fiction, and uh, this is a horror story. The building's department issued a vacate order for apartment 601 and the apartment right above at 701. You can even see from the outside of the building the many air conditioners and boarded up windows in both apartments. Folks actually have to open their eyes. They have to look on up. And if they see something where there's literally five air conditioners split in the middle of windows, then there's something wrong. A spokesman for the city buildings department said every New Yorker deserves a safe and legal place to live, which is why we're committed to rooting out dangerous fire traps and ordering the landlords to make these apartments safe. Tenants living in truncated and windowless dwelling units like this pose an extreme hazard to their safety, as well as the safety of their neighbors and first responders, a hazard that cannot be tolerated in our city. Now, all the residents who had been living in that subdivided, originally the condo was 600 square feet, and it was subdivided nine different ways. You can imagine just how tiny it was. All of those residents have been provided emergency housing by the Red Cross. As for the landlord, he's facing fines of up to $144,000 and also an additional fine of $1,000 a day until the apartment is corrected. We are live on the Lower East Side. McGee Hickey, PIX11 News.